you up to this? Yo, does this fix it? Can you guys hear me? Type 1 in chat if you can hear me. I'm gonna restart the stream. It's gonna ruin it. Ruin the VOD. Ayo? Ayo? <laughs> we fixed it? Let's go! Okay. Uh... Oh, I can't. Oh my god! Guys! I forgot I'm on YouTube. I can stream at a higher bitrate. <laughs> How does the stream look? Probably looks like ass, doesn't it? Uh, can I adjust this midstream? Time to find out. 12,000. <laughs> hey, what's up, Spud? Darth Vader, recognize that name? Ben, Nastromp. We have fixed uh, the audio issues. Off to a great start, fellas. Casually uh, taking his mods off guard with a random YouTube stream. Well, it was random to you guys, but <laughs> not random to me. Actually, in hindsight, uh, I should probably... Does? Beware. Okay, for those of you not aware, I have one mod on Twitch that actually mods my streams. Because most of my mods don't play Sea of Thieves. His name is Chrome, and I don't know if he has modding privileges on, on YouTube. Uh, but what pet do I buy? I like the Inu, but other people say Parrot is the best. You get what you like. Yo, what's up, William Harry? Welcome to the stream. Game's a little loud. Funny card a stream on YouTube. Hey, it's the third stream. They are indeed very rare. And welcome to the live stream. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna be up to no good today. In that I'm probably gonna have a very bad time because we are stacking cursed treasure. Who's excited? I'm excited. I can't wait to sink myself. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I have finally acquired some semblance of wealth in the doubloon department, enough to warrant me trying to stack some cursed treasure. Um, which has taken me a really long time because, as you guys might remember, me being dumb idiot self, I have spent all of my doubloons on gold during uh, during community day. <laughs> With gold that I don't even use for anything. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we have purchased the Voyage and we are going to try it out today. It's gonna be great. What's up Juan? This is going Leo, welcome in. Jack, hello. Uh, if a guy named Land of Honest People were to come out, would you play it? <clears throat> I saw your initial message and my mic wasn't working, but I said I'm probably gonna steal that one for Twitter. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> it's a pretty, uh, pretty good joke. Got tips on getting better. Uh, the more you do it, the better you get. There's really like, there's no secret to it. Uh, if you wanna be like more intentional with it, you can like watch some YouTube videos, I guess. I got a video that's like designed for new players, which is what to do on your first day in Sea of Thieves. And uh, I feel like that gives, that gives like a good idea of like what to do like content wise, but it doesn't do too much to like prepare you for like the mechanics in in the way of like 
you know, trying to get you to get better at the game. It's it's a it's a video that's supposed to teach you how to have fun with the game, not how to get better at the game. So you're gonna wanna look at like other channels that do that sort of content. Mr. Meme with the five dollars. I'm request to make a bunch of streamers eat a banana on stream, so I must request to get a banana in real life and eat it with a skin on. I will not do that, but I appreciate your five Canadian dollars. Uh that is an interesting request, uh, however, I must know, has anyone actually done that yet? Just got PL? Hey, uh, congratulations, Block. Good job. I'm about to play with a girl I like in Sea of Thieves, and it's her first time playing, what do I do? Uh, try to... I mean, is it like... Does she know you like her? <laughs> like... You know, is, is this like, is this like a, like an online date? Like, what's going on here? You know, try to try to focus on like just showing her around and like finding out what she likes about the game and then just like doing more of that. I just show her the ropes, you know. What's up, Croc? Celix, welcome in. Apology that I cannot uh, say hello to all of you individually, but there are in fact a lot of you, and my voice would literally die. So consider yourselves welcomed. Hmm. All right, so, fellas, we have purchased a grand total of seven Cursed Treasure Voyages, which is not a lot, but every single one of them can give up to three pieces of Cursed Treasure, I think. So that's what we're going to do today, but because I am me, we will first uh, go to the Shores of Plenty. Because those voyages are a lot easier over there. And God knows I need- I will need all the help I can get. <laughs> I'm not doing this like anywhere near the uh, eastern part of the map. Absolutely not happening. How do you put decorations on your ship? Well, you gotta buy one. You need to have a captain vessel and then you just have these prompts. You can like replace it. So, yeah, buy a captain ship and then just walk around the ship. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a video on the ghost skeleton curse once you get it. Captain uh, Lubs, is that how you say that? Captain Lubs? Uh, I'm afraid to say I have not been making any progress towards that curse because it's really boring. I was able to have Astro Spiff eat one on stream, and if you do not eat one on stream soon, I will keep throwing money at you. Do not test me. Oh no! Whatever am I to do with the viewer that keeps throwing money at me? Oh no! <laughs> Thank you for another five dollars. Much appreciated. Uh, Seriously, you, you, you don't have to. You don't have to throw money at me. I forgot to buy a uh, captain supplies. Unfortunately. I appreciate it, but no need. I'm not gonna eat a banana with skin on. How long have you been playing Sea of Thieves? That's a really loaded question, because like, I played for a bit, then stopped, played for a bit, and stopped, you know? I have about like six, six to seven hundred hours in the game, which compared to other like full time Sea of Thieves creators is nothing. How do you get good at naval? I mean, just like you get good at most things, the more you do it, the better you get. Just keep doing it. Will the stream be cut into one or more videos? I mean, it depends on if anything interesting happens, right? Why am I not surprised that Spiff did it? <laughs> uh, Evan, please do not spam the same message. Thank you. I once played with my mates on a galley and the ship went flying and we lost all of our loot. Did it, because it sank? Because it sank or because it went flying? Gotta take ballistics to get good at naval. No, trust me, you do not. <laughs> do you have uh, any in-game pets? A whole bunch of them, actually. Um, uh, this is a spoiler for the next video. <laughs> Well, not the next video, but an upcoming video. Yeah, let's get su subscribe has not been getting enough uh, enough screen time. Hey, what's up, Sia? You're once again sick. Oh man, that's that sucks. Also, I'm going the wrong direction. Hope you feel better soon. Collecting all pets? Nah, absolutely not. Hello from Australia, Ayo. 
Where is pet chicken? We have to find one. <laughs> Chat, stop spamming about the banana thing. It stopped being funny like five minutes ago. How much money can I spend in Sea of Thieves? That's quite the, quite the video title. I spent $3,000 on Sea of Thieves to buy every pet in the game. It's just like a, a 30 second video of me buying all the pets. What is the worst luck you've ever had in this game? I mean... I'm sure if I go back into my uh, into my older videos, you'll find some stuff. My first ever session is definitely up there. Uh, in regards to what happened with the Megalodon. <laughs> so I went to Kraken. Uh, ammo, let's go. Cast with a 10. Oh my god, it's getting out of hand. I've just been paid. I have so much money to throw away at my own leisure. Now... Now order one if you have to. All this money will be able to cover the cost of ordering. I'm, I cannot help but have to point out there's a fatal flaw in your plan. And the fact that I do not have a face cam. So I could just tell you I did it and you would never know if I did it. <laughs> so like, we, we can't fix that problem, can we? Yeah, do you have any mods in chat right now? If there's any mods, please just like... Can we do like 10 minute timeouts for people that spam banana? It is... Annoying. Is there Australians on the stream? Ayo? What time is in Australia right now? What is your least favorite cursed treasure? Ah, the grog barrel. I think the grog barrel is just kind of boring. Oh my god. It will make a crunch sound. Even if I was to eat the banana, I was not gonna eat it with uh, with the skin on. That's ridiculous. What I will eat is this uh, bowl of strawberries I have right next to me. I don't. Thanks for the 20. Add two, sorry. Where am I? Alright. We are making progress. The grog bell? Well, the grog bell is the most boring one, right? The Engi chest spouts fire, which is interesting. The crying chest literally sinks you, which is interesting. Are oh, the stra strawberries from 1 to 1,000? Like a 685. Eight thirteen for me in Australia, like AM? PM. I, it will be PM, right? It's AM in, in the North Americas right now. How do they cost doubloons? Honestly, it beats me. I guess they just wanted there to be a point to doubloons existing. Because the balloons don't have a lot of uses in the game right now. Especially with Duke no longer selling stuff. Well, I guess some other NPC sells it now. Yeah, I know. I, I wish they just made them really expensive gold voyages. But then again, it's like, what's the point of... Uh, ...of running them? If you can't make your money back. Are you doing the charge jump thing with the sword? Please tell me. Just hold down block. Give me one sec. Uh, so you pull out your sword. You hold, in my case, right click. I'm using uh, mouse and keyboard. I hold down right click to block. And then I click left click. And then the moment you hear like the swoosh sound, you jump. Okay, here's without me hitting jump. Just doing left click, right click. Not very far. But if I jump as I hear the swoosh, I go very far. Yeah, you're welcome. 
Time's up for you. 12.16. It is 12.16 right now. What's the plan for today? Doing Cursed Treasure Voyages. Oh, what's up, Dimitri? How do you get the ship set? Uh, this is Merchant Emissary Ledger, most of them anyway. So you gotta participate in the Merchant Emissary Ledger every month. If you could change something in the game, what would it be? Add more content. <laughs> That's the one thing I want. I want this live service game to actually get frequent updates. Is there a goal for the voyage or doing them for fun? Just kind of for fun, to be honest. What's up with the upload schedule? You gotta take this one up with Rare, dude. <laughs> I refuse to take responsibility for that. <laughs> For those of you not aware, they just, uh, they delayed season 10 to, what was that, October, I believe? Season 10 has been delayed, making season 9 is going to be the longest season in CLT's history. And there's just nothing interesting to make videos about, so I'm, I can't make videos. I've not gotten the gold curse now. What makes Skeleton be able to board with rowboats because it would add something more to Skeleton fights? It could be interesting, yeah. Uh, you know how like in the in the Pirate's Life Tall Tale, when you're on... Spoiler alert for the Pirate's Life Tall Tale in case you haven't played it yet. Um, there's one part where you're on the Ferry of the Damned and you have like to fight off AI that spawns on the ship. If there was some kind of, like, world event where they spawn AI on your ship, that would be interesting. Yet another reason not to carry kegs on your ship, <laughs> but it would be interesting. Do you have any of the PvP curses? Uh, I only have the, the golden skeleton, but it's on my second account and I don't like to brag, so... Chat. Uh, come on, waves. Trying to do some supplemental messaging here. Well, you can see it. Okay, hold up. <laughs> My guy, you need to upload more often. Streams are hella boring. I don't want to watch you, watch you sail for hours. Well, first one, we've been live for 18 minutes. Second off, nobody forces you to be here. <laughs> what I need to do is not listen to you, brother man. <laughs> like, what on God's green earth makes you write that comment? You're like, yeah, this is a very insightful comment. <laughs> the creator of this live stream will really appreciate that. Anyway, here is the compass, which will lead us to grand riches, I hope. YouTube chat is wild, yeah. His favorite pet, dogs. Dogs are based. So of cheaters and hourglass? No idea, I've not been playing it. I think we found our first destination. Strategy's working. Did not need to go very far. Will this be a VOD or turn into a video? Question mark. Why not both? Maybe both, maybe neither, who knows? You can be surprised at the end of uh, some time frame. Probably race the sale instead of eating strawberries. Or you can try to do both of them at the same time. Let's go, multitasking. Hmm. Harpoon robot. Interesting. This could be useful, actually. Mm. Sir, I'm doing inventory management. Sorry, I mean, no. Nah.
With the power of money, I curse you to only get crying chests and sink them before you can sell? That's just mean. Why'd you do that? Anyway. Do you have some tips for a beginner? Uh, it would help to be more specific about... <laughs> There's a lot of aspects in this game. It'd be helpful to know like what you want tips on specifically. Because I could be giving you like fishing tips, but you're like, no, actually, I want like PvP tips. You know what I'm saying? Should I add more bosses? Well, bosses with actual mechanics would be interesting. Huh? Oh, here we go. Okay, we can deal with that. Can I? But I need your help. Come on. Come on. Come on. Help me. Uh, do you think? There we go. Water. Give me water. Uh. <coughs> All right. Treasure number one. I'm being shot. We'll just ignore them. Uh, ominous skelly galleon behind me. Haha, -ha, they are fighting each other. Just like I planned. Bye bye. I am wondering if a rage chest could, like, conceivably sink a, uh,. A skelly galleon. I mean, at some point it was going to be too full of water for them to take any damage, I guess. What's your favorite island? My favorite island is Sea Dog's Rest. My favorite boss is probably the Ashen Winds boss. Because it has, like, actual mechanics. And, like, phases. Um... We can do a thing here. You guys were looking for tips. Uh, you can store a chest of rage without your ship setting on fire. With a neat little trick that I learned from Fuzzy Bond. We'll explain in a second. So here's how that works. If you hold the chest while it's getting hot, you will start taking damage. Conversely, if you put it in the water, the water will start boiling. That's a problem. What you want to do is put it elevated up here. So when it does eventually blow up, uh, the like the water, I don't actually know if I have enough, but like the water here is just going to immediately Take care of the fire. See? We're all good. It's no fire. Very cool trick. Shout out to Fuzzy Bond. Anyway. Next destination. This away. Okay. Am I anchored? I am anchored. Dog's getting hurt sound. Now the, the dog's just scared because it sounds scary. Try doing some hourglass? You try doing some hourglass, Zach Barua. How about them apples, huh? Are you saying without emissary flag? Yeah. I guess I could do gold holder. But that puts a massive, like, target on my back. Hey, thank you, Hubert. Oh, what's up, Jonathan? Weird this isn't Twitch. Well, you know, the YouTube frogs have not been getting too many videos because the game's not been getting updates. So I figured you guys deserve yourself a little live stream here and there. Which Cutlass are you using? Merchant Ambassador Cutlass. Can I join your ship? Nope. 
Shurik or not. Which is better PvP or PvE? One is not better than the other. One needs the other to be interesting. My goal is to devour this um, bowl of strawberries by the end of the stream. Yeah, my arms are doing fine. This is my doggo. Subscribe is sleeping inside the crate. I don't want to wake him up. So Chest of Rage is basically like, it's the second best thing we can get. Obviously Grog Chest is a little more boring, but it's inherently not very dangerous. What would be dangerous is the Crying Chest, so we are hoping not to find any of these. That will be bad news. We are very close. Here we go! Rage Chest number two. Guys, chill. Chill. Ah! Somebody else can deal with that. Do you ever turn off your lanterns on your ship? Very rarely. This game can actually get really dark. <laughs> and it's not conducive to good videos with bad lighting. Okay. Um, we now have two of them. Ideally, I would like them to blow up like at the same time. Ayo? Renex or Rhinex? Is that how you say it? Thank you so much for the five euros. Appreciate that. Okay. In the vernacular of the youngins, we go again. How much water do you need on the floor? I'm not actually sure how much, like, what the minimum quantity of water is. I think, like, a small layer of water is probably already good enough. It's because you're, you're not trying to, like, stop the fire, you're just trying to put out the fires. I have gotten better at COTs because of your videos. Hey, thank you! I appreciate that, Chantel. Is it because you learned what not to do? <laughs> That's usually how people learn from my videos. I don't make good guides, but I know how to mess things up and people are like, okay, I'm just not gonna do that. How much gold do you have? Uh, 8.6 million. What's the most satisfying thing in the game? What's the most frustrating thing in the game? One of the most frustrating things in the game, besides just like bugs, like let's ignore bugs for now. I think most of us can agree that bugs are really annoying. Like hit right and whatever else. One of the most annoying things in this game is when you're like on a voyage and they just spawn way too much AI on you. Like the Captain Voyage is a really good example of that. Where you're like, every time you dig something up, they spawn AI and that's annoying. And then they also spawn like ambient AI on top of that. Like that's really obnoxious. My favorite part of the game is just how it facilitates you having your own adventures. You know, like stuff spawning on you randomly is not actually a bad thing. It's just when it happens too much and it gets frustrating. Um, but you know, being able to like, go on these adventures and meeting people, some of them are gonna, you know, want to fight you. Some of them are gonna want to cooperate with you. Wow. Bruh. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. Aim is not up to snuff right now. Why are you so tanky? Why are you so tanky? Who summoned you? 
What kind of boss is that? <laughs> what? Oh god, I hope that skelly ship didn't see me do that. Anyway. Where is my final piece of treasure? Did we see a captain here, by the way? Aha! You better run. Three chests of rage? Out of one voyage? Not gonna complain about that. How was your journey on your Skeleton Curse voyage back then? Uh, I, I stopped playing Hourglass because it's boring. So I'm not trying to get that curse. How are we doing on Japanese? I had to put that on the back burner because I just have like too many things going on right now. Like in my personal life and also work. I need all of you to take a chill pill. This is not helping! Okay, we need more water, like stat. Oh! Desperate times, ask for desperate measures. Don't worry guys, we're gonna be fine. My favorite fish has to be the uh, trophy shadow stonefish. It looks cool and it's super valuable. I would love to have a uh, trophy stonefish like plaque on my ship, but that's such a grind. They <laughs> just evaporate the water, yeah. It's about to get really warm in here. We good? Okay. Wait, we have a fourth one? I thought there's only three per voyage. Well, the skelly ship left, so that's good. Huh. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Better bang for my buck, right? Funny videos a few months ago has got me back into playing Sea of Thieves. I'm going to be Kyle. Hope you're having a good time. Actually, we can synchronize them. You guys are right. We can do this. In hindsight, maybe I don't need that. <laughs> Subscribe is very unhappy about that. I'm sorry, bud. I'm really sorry. There are five chests. Oh, okay. Thank you, Pico. I did not know that. I'm holding off on doing this voyage. Order of Souls rep tips, please. Um, Fuzzy Bond has a really good video on that. Just look up Fuzzy Bond Order of Souls. It's a really good video. <laughs> you should do the dog's name. What, you mean subscribe to the channel for free? Sounds like a plan to me. What's the most satisfying, fun, adventure story you've been on? Could be a video you've been, or you've been playing alone. Well, I always record when I play. So all of my best stories are on YouTube. I do think the, uh, the All Out War session, it, it has to be between All Out War and, um, and the new best chest in series. Because, like, the All Out War is where I got this sale. And that was an insane... Like, that was one of those sessions where, like... 
you start off wanting to do something very mundane and it becomes like the most epic adventure ever. Whereas the, um, the Chest of Fortune video was like, you know, it was day one of release. I was hoping for something exciting happen to happen. And it just ended up being, you know, exciting in a way different from what I imagined. And that was also really cool. It's always the stories where, like, I meet other players and I have, like, interesting interactions with them. That was always my favorite. So souping? Yes, sir. Hey, thank you, Dasusuke. Appreciate that. What happened when I was gonna come back to Cliff on Fire? I would just have a few chests of rage, you know? Why do I not just sell the loot? Well, I want to stack them. Like, these pieces of loot are not really much of an inconvenience, so I can stack them just fine. It's no problem. Please do a PvP stream. You do a PvP stream. How about them apples? Bonjour. Oui, oui. Croissant. I'm basically fluent in French. Any tips for PvP for beginners? Um, uh, I mean, PvP is one of those things where like you can watch videos to get like very specific tips, but at the end of the day, nothing beats experience. So just like go out and do it. You know, don't be don't be scared to to PvP. Uh, don't get attached to your ship in a way that makes you scared of fighting. If you want to get better at PvP, you know. It's like, obviously, try to stay afloat, try to win, uh, but don't be like, well, I need to run away now or else I'm going to lose, you know? Because then you're never going to get better. You're just going to spend your whole time running away. I'd rather, I'd rather lose two fights very quickly and learn more than dragging one fight out that I'm destined to lose anyway. And I'm just trying to stay afloat for the sake of it. If that makes sense. So, yeah. You know, go out and try to fight people, or also, oh, oh my god, I have one video that I rewatched recently. Um, I think it's called This is PvP in Sea of Thieves. And my best tip, if you want to get into fights, is that go and do world events. Like, raise the, raise the Reaper Emissary flag and do world events. Because here's the thing, right? If you chase somebody for their treasure, they're gonna want to run away with it. But if, if you have treasure, they're gonna want to fight you for it. So if you have trouble getting people to commit to a fight with you, just get some treasure. You know, make them want to fight you. And that's how we got some really good practice. It's a weird tip, but it's like, I feel like not enough people talk about that. We are getting closer. We're gonna get another chest of rage, that'd be hilarious. Oh my god! I guess it's, it's a chest of rage kind of day, I guess. Guys, chill. Chill, guys. Come on, please. Mercy. Mercy, please. I'm begging. It's like, ah, here we go. Ah! I almost got poisoned, bro. Give me that. Bobbing and weaving. What's up, Fob? Welcome in. If you were able to make a whole new boss, what would it be? I have a very specific idea for a boss. Also, did I just miss a 499 donation? Hold up. Uh, Zachary Collins with the 499. Thank you so much. No message? I appreciate that though. Do you recommend solo souping for beginners? I mean, here's the thing. The game is more fun when you play with friends, but you get better at the game faster when you play solo. So, you know, it's, it's like pick your battles, kind of. It's very intense doing everything yourself, but you get better at the game faster. And it is very satisfying as a result. Um, but obviously, having your friends around is just really fun. Hey, Jellyfish Cam, thank you for the 199. What cutlass is that? It's slick. Love the videos. Hey, thank you. It is the Merchant Ambassador Cutlass. You get it from participating in the Merchant Ambassador, uh, in the Merchant Emissary Ledger. We tried using the parlay card to another crew. Maybe no one gets that reference anymore, but still. Yeah, I have. Many a times, actually. 
Here's the thing, right? Like, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, if you want to be pedantic as well, in more than one sense, Sea of Thieves is a sandbox game. And sandbox basically just means you make your own fun. So, like, for, for some people, their fun is fighting everybody they see. But also, there's a lot of people that play this game for the pirate fantasy. And if somebody yells parlay at them, like, that's a that's a... That's an opportunity for them to, to roleplay and, like, you know, live out that pirate fantasy, basically. So, you know, don't be afraid to try and pull the parlay card. Uh, to try and turn the tide in your favor. If you have a good offer, you know, if you can convince somebody to uh, come to a mutual agreement, then... I mean, the worst thing that, that can happen is them saying, no, I will sink you anyway, right? <laughs> in which case, like, if that was already happening, whatever. But I like, might as well shoot your shot. You guys might want to get used to this. <laughs> like, this is gonna happen a lot. <laughs> this is not going away anytime soon. Do you get the Fates of Fortune weapon set? No, I'm nowhere near. Why you don't play Galleon and always use Brig? Because I have two friends that I want to play with. And the Brigging team was designed for three people. I'll see you in a bit, Mr. Goose. Thanks for hanging. Chat, I'm gonna need your help right now, okay? Uh, I'm very curious. How many of you, if you still actively play Sea of Thieves right now, like as in it is still your main game that you play most of the time, type 1 in the chat. Type 2 if you're currently not playing Sea of Thieves. And if you want. A lot of ones. A lot, a lot of ones. I see one sneaky little two. There's a two over there. Couple twos. Okay. Okay, the twos are multiplying. Alright, started now. Okay, interesting. Hope you're having a good time. 1.5 sometimes. Alright, got it. Uh, two of my favorite games, but just got bored. Ah, I see. I feel like... Okay, there's a lot more twos coming in now. It might be like a 60-40 split in favor of... You guys still playing series. No content, 11 weeks to wait. Yeah. I'm playing, but not a lot. You made me one from two. Oh, nice. It's not my main game, but it's a rotation my friends want to play. That's fair. How do you do the chest of rage? You don't set the ship on fire. A, a tiny layer of water at the bottom of your ship will help um, to... Um, okay, let me just explain this again for people that were not here at the start. But there's like, there's a method to the madness. I learned this from Fuzzy Bond. So I have a thin layer of water here. And you would think, oh, if I already have water, I might as well put the chest of rage in here. But if I put the chest of rage into the water, the water's gonna start boiling and I'm gonna start taking damage. So I put this on this elevated space and I let it explode on purpose. But as you can see, all the fire that it would create is immediately being put out because there's water in the ship. So yeah, once again, learned that from Fuzzy Bond. Shout out. What do you do other than YouTube? I go to the gym twice a week. I've been traveling more recently. Uh, give me one second, guys. Please don't be far away. I threw like 60 chickens on Chicken Isle and it's still in my map board storage thingy. Bro, I wish I could find that map. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, should we... Okay, here's... I would love to do like a community event where you guys just like create insane treasure maps for me. But it is so unlikely for me to find them because of how like the treasure map system works. Gets above me. It would be super fun if I if there was a way for me to like get maps from my viewers to uh, to dig them up. Like finding a map with like ten chickens on it, that'd be hilarious. What's your favorite Tall The show like the whole Shows of Gold Tall I I think out of the the nine nine Tall in the Shows of Gold, uh, Art of the Trickster is probably my favorite. I like that one a lot. Oh 
my god, we are only finding chest of rage. <laughs> we are five out of five. Only finding this one chest. Ow. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> Taking a good look at that bad boy, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, fast. There we go. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. You can see that the chest of rage voyage? It's a cursed treasure voyage. It's random what you get. There is no chest of rage voyage, is there? Chat confirm? Whoop! Ow. It's not bad. Did you do Monkey Island? Yeah, we did. But it's it was not enough to warrant a video, so I'm probably gonna make one when all the tall tales are out. Probably. Okay, where the heck are we actually? End up in Plunder Valley. Uh, that was it. Okay, number two. Ominous. There's no chest of rage voyage? Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Do they actually have me sail through that? Please don't do that to me. Please don't. Isn't that island over there? You've got to be absolutely kidding me. No way. Oh, okay. Well. I hope you guys are ready for this one. Huh. Classic rare. We're getting a warm welcome, chat. Get some speed, hey. Catch one here. Yeah, even more fire is just what I needed. Way overshot, goddamn. Ah! You know, there's a tiny flaw in my strategy, <laughs> and that I cannot stay on the cannons because it will set me on fire. I low-key kind of forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a break, please. There is now fire on my ship. Ow! No, I need to wait. Do we have a hole? What, what did they hit? They hit something. Oh, they hit my uh, capstan. Ow! Now they hit my rowboat as well? You've got to be absolutely kidding me. Is that enough water? It is not enough water! Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, sails up. Step one, sails up. Anchor up. I need more water in my hull. But if I keep getting shot while trying to get the treasure, then I could sink. It's a balancing act. How we looking? That's a decent amount of water. Can you give tips for Pirate Legend easy and fast? Uh, there's like a hundred videos 
that talk about how to get Power Legend fast. I don't believe in that process. I feel like you're depriving yourself of a of a good experience by rushing to get through PL. Because let me let me in on a little secret. The game is not that different after you hit Pirate Legend. So just enjoy it now. That's my pro tip. I'm on the wrong end of the island. That is actually miserable. Um Okay, no, we cannot. We can actually not stay here because we are being actively shot. We will have to take the ship around. And I'm poisoned. Ugh. Stop shooting my ship, please. I'm begging, bro. I'm so low. Oh my god. Please don't sink. Please don't sink. Everything is on fire. Stop it! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We will have to get around. How many holes do we have? One big one. Okay, how absolutely screwed am I? Very. Okay. Extremely cool. And they broke my wheel. This is kind of miserable. Um, we need a plan B. Stop, please, bro. <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, hmm. I have five chests of rage on my ship right now. I have no idea. We are spinning, that's not good. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to do. Uh, well, actually, if, uh, if the treasure is anywhere near here, that would work in my favor. Is that the same island still? I hope so. Very much is, yeah. We might be in luck. Any more holes? Then we're Gucci gang right now. We might be in luck. Okay, I just need a moment to dig up the treasure. Come on, where is it? Oh, please. Bro, come on, this is not the time! Okay. Crap. They are pushing my ship forward with their cannon shots, bro. been better before. We have some like tier three holes, I believe. Yep. That looks like tier three, all right. Huh. <sighs> Oh my god, how is my rowboat still alive? Hey, what's up, bridge? Okay. I think they're giving us a break right now. Which means... I messed up my sword dash. Yeah, hey, welcome in, Jezza. You might actually have to PVE. Disgusting. Back with a fruit skewer and orange juice. That seems really nice, Goose. What's on the skewer? I 
extra bank of my ship. Okay, crop. No, please. <laughs> Don't do this to me, man. Not now. Evaporate the water, I'm begging, bro. Okay, we're still good, we're still good. In hindsight, good is a relative term. A very relative term. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Leave me alone! I'm just filled to the brim with water and tier 3 holes. The water's getting so high, it's touching the freaking chests. Ain't no way, ain't no way. Ain't no way, ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Just another day in the mines, you know. Oh, 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 okay. Ah, no, 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 no. No, 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 You know, the Wraith Bulls are kind of BM at this point. We got the goods? We can leave. Wait, 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 what? No, 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 please, please. No, 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 no. Why did it not grab it? I'm so sunk, I'm so sunk, I'm so sunk. I'm so sunk, I'm so sunk. Why did it not grab it? No! Ah, <laughs> this is the worst timeline. Why did the harpoon not grab it? Uh. We had a good run, boys. <laughs> we had a good run. Uh, if that does not make you hit that subscribe button, I don't know what does. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, guys. Uh, that's just funny, not gonna lie. 07 in chat. Can we get some 07s in chat? It's fine. We can still <laughs> salvage this. Uh, there we go, fellas. Thanks for another donation meme. Okay. Well, we are going, we're not going to need those uh, cannonballs. There we go. Okay. There they are. Um. <laughs> we're still in this. Uh, today is YouTube only stream. We are only live on YouTube right now. The voices are getting louder. Yeah, why did it fall off? That's so weird. We're gonna deck out our robot. It's gonna be sick. Trust me, guys. Oh yeah, brother. Oh. Come on. Get a nice shot of this. Uh, Wi-Fi, thank you for the tier one subscription. Welcome to the crew, much appreciated. Thank you. 
This robot is decked out. <laughs> the legendary robot. Let me just enjoy a couple strawberries before we continue. I need to digest the trauma that I just went through. New for the thumbnail? Exactly. <coughs> Sorry, I just got distracted by something. Uh, 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 I actually- wait, no. No, 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 don't do this. Ow! I didn't know they can blow up like that! Okay, I'm actually gonna die. Oh my god! This mode of transportation is not working! I don't think the robot is gonna survive this. We need to get this to land. The robot's alive? Barely. Oh my god. Crap. Hmm. I need a plan. If I put these chests at the lowest point. Okay. Let me let me sign something with it, yeah. I'm wondering if you guys know what I'm trying to sign to. Energy Wolf with the tier one, thank you so much. Welcome to the crew. And also that llama with the 799 sticker. The noob sticker, are you serious? Come on, have I not suffered enough already? <laughs> thank you guys so much for the support. My legendary logbook. It shall be treasured. Uh, Nixus, this is a cursed treasure map. You can get that on a captain ship. It costs uh, doubloons instead of gold. And it will give you cursed treasure. I just so happen to get five of the same cursed treasure. <laughs> okay, let's see. Does this work? I don't think this is working. The theory was putting was putting it at the lowest point in the boat, which I thought the harpoon would automatically drop it in, so it keeps getting splashed by water. Okay, what direction do I need to go? I'm going the right way. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's the sound I need. I mean, it's really annoying, but if it works, it works. Oh, maybe it's because... Okay, I'm too close to the island where the waves are not strong enough. I think. To be honest, I know what I expected when I joined. <laughs> well, give me Jack. Uh... Right, let me actually check my... Here we go. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anyone. Meme, thank you for the meme donations. Much appreciated. Zachary. Go with a 499 jellyfish 199 appreciate that got Wi-Fi with a membership and energy wolf and there's also uh, the llama with a noob sticker okay here we go thank you so much uh, robots are not noticed by the ghosts as far as I know they only shoot at the cannon robots can you teach us how to, can you teach us how to move through water that fast I've seen you do it a lot can never figure out can pick it up and keep moving. Wolf Angels! Thank you so much for the tier 1 subscription. Welcome to the crew! Uh, I- yeah, sure, I can- I can show you. It's very simple, actually. Uh, I will use my- obviously, I will use my keyboard and mouse binds. So, whatever your binds are, you're gonna have to adjust that. For me, dropping it is X, right? So, dropping the loot is X, and picking it up is E. So, all I do is I just- I, uh, I start sprinting with shift, I pick this up, and I immediately drop it. 
So I, basically, I keep tapping my, my sprint and I just do X, E, X, E, X, E, you know, drop and pick up, drop and pick up over and over again. And there are some people who are so good at this, they are literally just running with it. I'm not that good with that, uh, but it's still like, it's still better than, than just swimming because swimming is really slow. Hello, I'm see your thesis, and I know it's uh, okay to sing. Hey, there we go, Energy Wolf, exactly. I mean, just like like I have just sunk. You know what? It's it's fine. We all sing sometimes. We can still have a good time. That's exactly what we're going to be doing right now. It's, we will have a good time. Chaos Wolf with their tier one subscription. Thank you so much. Welcome to the crew. What's your favorite event? Ooh, a favorite event. I really like Ashen Winds. I'm very partial to Ashen Winds. What's up, Dracken? Hey, glad I could help, Sneaky. What's the logo on your compass? It's the Athena logo. This is a Voyage-specific compass. PvP fighting, I'm good in, but PvP, man, I suck. Hey, I'm bad at both of these things. <laughs> and I still have a good time, so... It's, it's not strictly an Athena Voyage, Drable. It's a Cursed Treasure Voyage. And I'm not doing this on a robot by choice. I sank. What's your favorite voyage type? Uh -uh. Favorite voyage type. I'm not super crazy about voyages in general. I find them very repetitive. Um, I'm much more of a world event kind of guy than a voyage kind of guy. I do think that the... the what's that merchant voyage they added later down the line? Um, last shipment. Last shipment voyages are pretty, pretty fun, I would say. What's your favorite emissary? It has to be a Reaper. Like just the fact that you get you get a bonus on everything that you sell, like that's crazy. Okay, I just realized I cannot get too close to the island, otherwise my robot will break. Is somebody else doing the fleet right now? Get the rowboat back on the open sea. And to hear the splish splash. This should be fine, right? I hope. Bro, if my robot breaks, I'm gonna be so sad. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Oh, I'm gonna have quite the ways to go. Are we gonna go sell now? No, we have to finish this voyage first. We finish it first and then we sell. What's your favorite hotel? Uh, the... Uh, out of the trickster from the shows of gold. I, by and large, I do like tall tales. I like doing them once, not five times. Um, but I do think the the pirates' life tall tales are very very weak compared to like the shows of gold, for example. Shows of gold is peak sea of thieves, especially if I like, come across other players on the way. Where is it? Gaha? Gaha? Oh, here we go. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. How often do you stream? Very rarely. Immaculate vibes on the show is real. My favorite chest by looks, probably Athena chest. Chest of Legends. Um, I think this is where we parked our rowboat. Oh, there it is. Shout out to the lantern. Okay. I need to have an impeccable juggle if I don't want to get drunk. More difficult than I thought. So much for my impeccable juggle. How's the Grand for Hunter's Call going? We finished! Uh, the Breath of the Sea video was our final Hunter's Call episode. 
We'll hit max level. How are you? You're pretty alright. What are you following? This is going to be a video, it might. Which of fortune have you sold right now? I think four. If you can make a whole new weapon, what would it be? Oh no, I don't necessarily think Sea of Thieves needs more weapons. Actually, a bomb would be with like a, a new throwable. Um, like the water version of of a firebomb. It would be super BM. Uh, but just a bomb that fills the enemy ship with water. It would be funny. Only four chests of fortune is nothing. It's not nothing. It's four chests. It's very simple math, you see. Bro wants a water balloon. Hell yeah. How long have you been playing Sea of Thieves? About 600 hours. A bucket bomb. Yeah, exactly. How many Reaper chests or bounties do you ha have you sold right now? That I actually do not know. And I don't feel like going to my menu for that right now because it's like a hundred clicks to get to that specific stat. My favorite pistol skin is um, the one, the, what's it called? Like Obsidian, whatever the heck. I don't know what they're called. But just because the iron side is very clean. When you stop playing Sea of Thieves, uh, the first time I ever played the game was when they just added the first iteration of the Reaper, Reaper chest. I think that was just before emissaries were a thing, like a couple months before emissaries were added. Ebon from Block, thank you. And you all, thank you for the two euro sticker. Hey yo, the GG sticker, appreciate that. Counteracting the noob sticker that I got from Llama. <laughs> appreciate that. I see these about 500 hours only have 2.7 million gold. I mean, hey, it's not, you know, it's not a, a competition between like how many hours you, you spend, how much gold you have. Because, you know, you just spend your time in the game doing what you like doing. And sometimes the things that you like doing don't make money, but you're still having fun. Favorite shanty is Summon the Megalodon. What quest is this? Uh, this is the Captain Voyage for, uh, for Curse Treasure. You're very welcome, Cole. Hope you're having a good time. Do you have other hobbies besides gaming? Yes. I work out twice a week. I would consider that uh, a hobby. And you Wolf! <laughs> Come on, dude! Six euros to call me a noob? That's just mean. Well, I'm sad now. <laughs> uh, might as well take a little intermission here. In fact, there's a setting I can do. Uh, okay. This is my favorite chanty, and now you guys can listen to this while I, t I tab out, check something. Goddamn. Give me one sec, fellas. What is you guys' favorite chanty? Is there a disco for Sea of Thieves? Yeah, there's an official Sea of Thieves Discord. I also have a Discord server, but we have very strict rules. The rules are basically don't be annoying. You're gonna get banned. So read the rules, and you're gonna be fine. We got some summon the Megalodon enjoyers, let's go. Grok Miles, really? 
I like most of them? That's fair. Hey, thank you, Nick. Why are you torturing yourself with the Roby? Well, I sank. I didn't do this by choice. Just taking a quick break to have some strawberries. Keep going. Why YouTube today? Because there haven't been a lot of Sea of Thieves updates, and as such, there have not been a lot of videos. And I feel like you guys deserve, you know, some form of content, even if it's not a video, at least like an occasional live stream. Why not bury the chest and get your ship? Well, because that's quitter talk. That would make too much sense. <laughs> it's way more funny to do it this way. I get the compass from the boy. I had one of these things happen as well, Mr. Goose. Where I was I was trolling chat with it. I was like, hey, chat, do you want to see me summon a megalodon? I was on Twitch. Uh, and I played the shanty and a megalodon actually appeared. I was like, I told you guys. When are you gonna post the next video? Whenever it's done. I got the skelly curse? Let's go die. Can we get some claps in the chat for die? Unlocking the legendary skelly curse? Clapping hands. Let's take him go. You know you can keep leveling up your ship with that music thing by going to Melee Island and stop playing. Nobody's going to bother you there and you get the ship title. Oh, you mean for the, um... What, what do they call him? Like the, the ship level thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you could run the same thing with, uh, with the Pirate's Life, right? Tadpole, you cannot make me choose a favorite food. I like food too much. I do not have one favorite food. Are we a little off course here, hey? Collapse very loudly. Shout out, Goose. Season 10 pushed back to October. Not sure uh, what they will do in the meantime. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a struggle out here when it comes to, like content. What do you think about Monkey Island? I know you wanted uh, One Piece to uh, to sail and see these. Well, I think the Monkey Island, the first one anyway that we played, I already think the Monkey Island one is better than, than a Pirate's Life, and I really did not like a Pirate's Life. There there are some complaints I have about it that I might voice in. Uh, in a video, but by and large, it's like it's a good tall tale, right? It's not a, it's not bad content. It's just it's not a lot of content, and they made us wait a really long time for part one of a tall tale that takes like maybe 90 minutes to complete. What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime right now is Black Clover. They made a version of some of the Megalodon with lyrics, really? Is that on YouTube? Favorite thing to do in Sea of Thieves? Get up to shenanigans with other players. Didn't Black Clover finish? Uh, no. I'm pretty sure the, the mango is still not done. Um, the anime was on a hiatus while they worked on the movie. And the movie came out recently. It was so good. The game sounds out loud. There you go. I'm hopeful for parts two and three. I don't. I don't want to like. <laughs> you know, having having expectations only leads to disappointment. So right now, I'm just I'm I'm assuming all the tall tales for Monkey Island are gonna be very short. Now it's ASMR, is it? That's fine. Looking at the levels. Is that it? Only one way to find out.
Mango is the final arc. It's good if you like the anime. My brother's been... Like, my brother intentionally doesn't spoil anything, but he tells me, like, oh, something cool is happening in Black Clover. Can't wait for the anime. Animu. Interesting bomber. I did not know that. I never heard of this stuff, Energy Wolf. I genuinely, I, I'm not like, I'm not a big like shanty guy, so I don't know which of these shanties are like popular shanties that actually exist, existed, and which of these are just like made for the game. So I, I didn't know any of them came with lyrics, to be honest. Somebody's unhappy to see me here. Bruh. Chill. Ow. That's just rude. I got sword dashed by a skelly. Come on, just. Sword dashed by a skelly. Oh god, they're tanky skellies. And why are these skellies so tanky, by the way? Like, why am I getting pushed around like that? What is happening, bro? These skellies take a million hits to kill. And also, I just get pushed around by a skelly without a weapon? What is happening? Why are you so tanky? Bro. Bruh. Anyway. Another one, of course. Yeet. Okay. Real life shanties have different backgrounds behind the names in the shanty list, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Will you do a 300k special? Not really. It's, it's like, it's just a number, to be honest. Like, it's a cool number. It's, it's a cool milestone, but... Um, I feel like the whole YouTube meta around making subscriber specials has kind of died. Like, people don't care about your subscriber special. They care about you making good videos. So instead of like putting all this work into making like some kind of subscriber special, I'd just rather keep making good videos. If that makes sense. I vote 600 hours in the game. Uh, throwing gallop. Dude, hold up. I'm fascinated by this right now. Um, so if I. These have a certain background. No, they all have the same background, right? Or do you mean like the icon? Oh! Hmm. What's up, buddy? How are we doing? Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's a thing. Just gonna ignore that. I did see the icon. That was like the rare icon. Okay, I have to take this. I have to take this if for no other reason, but I've spent all of my doubloons. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of them. Um. I played myself. <laughs> Next up. That was not it. Mm. Is that another skelly? It is. You like Pikmin? I've never played it. Never played it. And now I'm getting stressed about the robot blowing up. Um, it's like right where the paths split around here. Like a little bit up. Wait, that's I'm on top of the red plant. I'm not supposed to be in. Am I? Chat, what the heck is this? Oh, I was really close already the first time. I'm just gonna leave that here. Anyone remember where I parked my rowboat, by the way?
You can zoom in on the maps that much? Yes, sir. Where did I park my rowboat? Hey, welcome in, Vincent. Oh, there it is. Do you have any tips for FOTD Zolo? Um, it scales to crew size now, so it's actually very not difficult. Um, Disney, just grab like a handful of Disney sticks for the boss, um, and I think you can one shot all the skellies with like a pistol shot. You know, like get an ammo crate, I guess. Get an ammo crate, some decent food, and a couple Disney sticks for the boss. Shouldn't take you too long. It's the interact key, Chaos Wolf. It's the interact key. For me, that's F. the F key, but I think baseline is E. Uh, any tips? I'm trying to upload, but I don't know what to upload when I go live on Twitch. I get no views, any words of advice. Uh, there is a, there's a lot of free resources out there. On, uh, I should probably switch. On how to make good content. The one mistake a lot of people make is like they think too hard about it. They, they think there's a trick to it. There, there's no trick. The trick is making good content. Uh, so find out what good content is. Find out what people want to see. And then do that. You know, as soon as you find out what good content is, the second thing you'll learn is how to, how to promote it. Like how to market it, you know. Good titles. Interesting titles, good thumbnails. Stuff like that. We are moving robots. Them waves can get hella high, huh? And my generous gift. 07 in chat for the trooper of a rowboat. Sorry, I meant this one. It got us here. And I appreciate that. And we hit record. Done. Save that clip. Replay buffer saved. Very pog. Uh, now. I think we have three more digs that we have to do. The logbook? Oh, the logbook! Yeet. We almost forgore the logbook. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, what does 07 mean? It's like a person saluting. The O is the head, and the 7 is like, you know, the position your arm makes when you salute. How do you know which island is which? That's my secret cap. I don't. <laughs> I just go where the compass tells me to go. Which right now is slightly to the right. Why don't you find your ship again? Because this is more fun. How are you doing today? Doing pretty okay. Can the Meg attack a rowboat? Now that is a question that science cannot answer, Billy. Or if it can, I do not know the answer. <laughs> oh, seven was the number of rowboat. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a salute. It is a salute. Uh, why keep the logbook? How do you do that when you're speaking to other players in the videos that... Uh, is that an editing trick by the one? Oh, yeah, uh, Energy Wolf, the... We do a lot of post-production on the audio to make it, you know, to make it fit the ambience. So you will notice in caves there's like an echo, or when I use the megaphone it sounds different. Uh, all of that is done in editing. Um, as for the, the logbook, purely sentimental value. <laughs> Shout out to the ship that got us here, you know? 
Yo guys, by the way, thank you for the 500 likes on the uh, on the stream. Appreciate that. I don't know how likes correlate to like visibility on the stream, but I appreciate it. As well as all the new memberships and the stickers and donations, you guys have been crazy. It is much appreciated. We just got like 20 likes when I said that. We got like 50 likes! Oh my god! <laughs> guys, thank you so much. <laughs> of course I am, Alexandra. <laughs> of course I am. Uh, there's a whole playlist on the official CLT's channel here with the shanties, many of them with lyrics. I gotta check that out, Bomber. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's all post-production magic there, Wolf. We got like a hundred likes. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Have you been? I've been pretty okay, to be honest. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've been trying to keep busy. Uh, obviously, there isn't as much Sea of Thieves content for me to make videos about, so I've been working on other stuff. Some of which is a secret. Ayo, Sponge Cop <laughs> with the new membership. <laughs> Thank you for the tier one. Welcome to the crew. Oh, that that name just got me. <laughs> that name just really got me. Oh, appreciate that. Would you like if there was any water demons in the game? Demons? Not necessarily. More just like types of enemies, maybe. I've not done Glitter Beard, no. Hey, welcome, welcome in Milzy. Thank you for watching, by the way. A year and a half? That's dedication. What's wrong video from you? Randomly, a couple weeks ago. Now I've watched every single video you did. I appreciate that, Empire. Glad you like them. It is what it is, Steve. It's, it's just two things that go together, you know what I'm saying? Do you have the Skeleton Curse? And if so, was it hard to get? I do not have the Skeleton Curse. And yes, it is quite time-consuming to get. Quite time-consuming. I feel like if skeletons uh, could board ships, it would make fleets so much more fun. I do think the idea of spawning enemies on your ship, like mermaids that jump on your ship, or uh, or crawlers that jump on your ship, I mean, crawlers are really annoying. But like skeletons that could spawn on your ship, I think that, that could be really interesting. Okay. Chad, we parked southeast of this island. R remember that. Wild Chest of Sorrow? I haven't found a single one. I'm gonna mute my microphone for a second here as I kinda like take bites of my uh, my strawberries. Don't wanna have you guys have to listen to my eating ASMR. What's your opinion on the Hunter's Call Emissary Flag? Uh, Quill, that is something I specifically went out of my way to tell Rare that they should add that. <laughs> I was literally like, listen Rare, I know I'm just like big stupid YouTube guy, but consider the following. And I pulled up all of my videos about the Hunter's Call. <laughs> I was like, look at all these videos and how many views they get. The people want more Hunter's Call content. We need sea monsters. We need hunting voyages. We need an emissary flag. We need to go all in on the Hunter's Call. And I was completely ignored. So, I tried. I really tried to get them to do more Hunter's Call content. But I don't think they're really interested right now. They got like, you know, Monkey Island, whatever else. Are you on robot? Because my ship sank. You have the best CLT YouTuber I know. How many do you know, um, Sean? Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Simons. Because if, if I'm the only CLT YouTuber you know, that's not as much of a compliment. <laughs> hey, thank you, Garth. What's up, Booger? How do you sword dash and jump in one time? 
showed that earlier. I guess I can show it again once I'm online. A Leviathan? Yeah, something like a... It would be really cool to have a voyage that summons like a like a kind of... Like a maelstrom. And then having to fight a sea monster in that maelstrom. That would be super cool. Like at the edge of the map where it doesn't inconvenience other players. If you had to play with any other Sea of Thieves YouTuber, who would you play with? Uh, I like playing with my friends. I like playing with Birdie and Brandon. I don't really do the whole like... Playing with other people just because they're creators thing. I like playing with my friends because we have really good synergy and it's really fun. Season 10 Hunter Skull update. Unfortunately, we already know it's not. <laughs> I'd be extremely excited for Sea of Thieves Season 10 uh, if it was a Hunter Skull update. Like a really meaty one, you know? Well, at least now we don't have to be worried about it anymore. <laughs> Seeing as how uh, we are on a rowboat. And it cannot sink a robot. Um, southeast. Where is it? Here we go. Hey, thank you, Chitsu. What's your opinion on raw onions? I like onions. I like many different kinds of onions in many different formats. I have a friend who made fun of me for not quote-unquote, properly caramelizing onions. <laughs> I was just like, screw it. <laughs> I was just like, I'll just freaking uh, saute them. I'm not spending three hours trying to <laughs> caramelize onion onions again. It's just not worth the effort. It's like, it's good, but it's like, if I want to eat, I want to eat now and not in three hours from now. You know what I'm saying? You guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Ow. Red, white, or yellow onion? I like all onions. I'm yet to have an onion I didn't like. Oh my god, chat! Chat, 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 chat. First off. Did you know this is gonna blow some of your guys' minds and other people are gonna be like, oh yeah, we already know that. Did you know they made an onion that does not make you cry? I'm not joking. I found one in my local supermarket. They make onions that don't make you cry. And they still just taste like onions. Yeah! I'm serious! I just found it my local supermarket! It's, it's, it's science. I don't know how, but they did it. The mad lads. <laughs> the fearless onion. <laughs> oh, the tearless onion, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I thought the fearless onion was really funny. <laughs> It, it could it could be going better, Snarky or Snacky. Uh, we we sank, so uh, we have seen better days. But we, yeah, we make the best of it. Genetically modified onion? I'm assuming so. Yeah. Where did I park the car? It's gone. Hmm. <laughs> it appears I've lost my car. Jennifer with a two two subscription. Can I get a shush in the chat for Jennifer? God damn, two two, welcome to the crew. Happy to have you. There we go. That's a sheesh in the chat room. Uh, I cannot find my Rowy right now. I don't know how far- I mean, I swam for quite a while. Yeah, southeast. I'm going southeast. Wait. Wait. What? It was not northeast, it was southeast? <clears throat> Shut up, chat. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Shut up. I don't want to hear a word. I don't want to hear a word from you right now. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put you into emote only. Shut up. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> Is this all you do every day? No. It's something I do very rarely, actually. Shut up, Chad. Get your head in the game? Well, Jennifer just subscribed for tier 2. How was I not gonna get just excited about that? You know what I'm saying? It happens, okay? Is anyone going to join you? No, today is full on solo. And you all the two euro sticker GG. Somehow I feel like it's a little condescending. <laughs> Thank you for the sticker. <laughs> Appreciate that. Another one from Valley. You've been instantly fall in love with COT COTs again. Thank you. Hey, thank you for watching them. I'm really glad you're having a good time. If that can be the spark that triggers you having a good time with COTs, then I'm more than happy. Thank you for your two euro donation. Are they called donations? Are they called super chats, right? Called super chats. And another six euro from Energy Wolf called me noob again. Of course. Why are the noob stickers always like way more like higher value than the GG ones? Something is skewed here. Is that how much they cost? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so confused. Is it just more expensive to insult the streamer <laughs> than to praise them? <laughs> are we gonna sell now? No, we're still not done with the voyage. It needs to read GG noob. Oh, wow. Wow, Wolf. Wow. That would be good to help uh, a content creator that has been helpful to me since I started playing a month ago. Hey, thank you so much. It is very much appreciated. And I hope you have a good time in Sea of Thieves. If you just started playing, there's a lot for you to discover. <laughs> you know, us who have been playing for a while, uh, we are kind of running out of stuff to do, but there's so much to explore for people who are new to the game. Chat, where did I park the car? South. East. Huh? Oh. Shut up, chat. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. One word. I swear to God, chat. Stop it. Chat, stop. Stop. Why do you park the boat, the robot, so far away from the island? Because, as you can see, the waters are very calm when you're close to the island. And, um, that means... Okay, I don't know if this is an intended mechanic, right? But, if you're on a rowboat, um, your chest of rage in the rowboat gets splashed with water. So it, does, so it never explodes. But if you're so close to the island where there's no waves... It's not going to get splashed with water, and it's going to damage the robot. That is why I have to park it far away. That looks like a brigantine over there. Oh, what's up, Hank? Come on, ride. Opinion on British people and cheese. <laughs> That's such an interesting question. <laughs> You play Overwatch. Uh, I, I would have usually said no, but we actually tried out the PvE last night. The boys know. No, it does not take damage from the chest of sorrows, Happy. Fight the brig? You fight the brig. Nerd. Got him. Chat, stop asking me my opinion on stuff. Like, people specifically. <laughs> I've not been to most of the places that you guys ask me what I think of the people of. <laughs> I've never been to the UK. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. Uh, max gold holders and have 180 plus hours, but not PL, and debating to do order of souls or merchants to work towards the next. Hey, do whatever is the most fun to you. Southeast. Can't wait for Skull and Bones. Who's gonna tell them? <laughs> Who's gonna tell them, chat? 
<laughs> I don't want to do it. I'm going to hurt their feelings. <laughs> well, somebody has to tell them. <laughs> You're looking at the island and your compass was showing northeast when looking at the island. Oh, so I just did it completely wrong. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Are you, why do we call them Disney sticks? Well, I started calling them Disney sticks because uh, other people have already done that. Specifically, the person I picked it up from was uh, Freemason Live. Uh, however, they are generally called Disney Sticks is because they were added to the game with a Pirate's Life. And the Pirate's Life update was a uh, was a Pirates of the Caribbean crossover. And that IP is owned by Disney. Thusly, Disney Stick. See you around, Snail. Thanks for hanging. You say it was a test and play cool. Yeah, I wanted to make sure you guys are paying attention, basically. Like, I knew all the- like, the whole time I knew where I was going. I just want to make sure you guys have been paying attention. Uh, with that said, where the heck is the car? I couldn't have been that far out, right? And the waves are kind of crazy right now. The chest is... Not just silently, but like loudly judging me. You guys just can't hear it. You can't park there, mate. You have a license for this rowboat. Hmm. I'm like halfway to the next island, bruh. Where's my dang rowboat? Hmm. Chat, I'm scared. <laughs> they towed your car? Bruh! <laughs> Don't say that, man. I am southwest! So, no, no, you guys said southeast. Specific you specifically said southeast. You can't just change your mind when I go another direction. I'm back to the stream. If you're looking at the island, you need to see northeast in your compass. <laughs> what? <laughs> now the chest is crying as well. The other southeast. Thank you, chat. Just go around this circle. So, other side? Bruh! I'm actually just so lost right now. I'm about to go back to my own VOD. So, looking at the island and it's at northeast, so I need to be southwest. I'm so close to, like, the next island over already. I'm just gonna circle around the island. Wait, is this the right one? That's not the right one. Where's the island I just came from? It should be over yonder, right? That is it, yeah. Is your favorite season? I'm very partial to winter. I'm a winter enjoyer. Man, that would be depressing if we lost all of our chests of rage. We couldn't even take a screening with them. What if the bring team picked it up? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. We are southwest right now. Wait. Did I just... I think I was imagining things. That's way too close to that fort. Hmm. Hmm. 
Chat, I'm about to only read messages from members. Because everyone's just like yelling random directions. Can we go back to the island? That's what I was thinking too. I think we, we take high ground on the island to try and spot the rowboat. I think that's the play right now. What's up, Caleb? Chat, if you want me to read your message right now, until we find a rowboat, give me money. <laughs> I'm joking. Doing well, Hobo. Doing pretty okay, despite being yelled at by 600 people. I'm just gonna eat my strawberries. Delicious. How do you get good at hourglass? I'm really bad at cannons and only good at them. Helm. Try solo slooping. Try solo slooping, not necessarily in hourglass, but just like in, in regular open world PvP. Because it's like, it's less punishing. If you play solo, you have to do everything yourself, and then you just naturally get better faster. I know where it is, and I have landmarks, that's all you need. Just to be sure, I'm still, like, here's the thing, right? This is where we landed. So I'm assuming it has to be somewhere in this general direction. Unfortunately for me, there is a storm coming, which could definitely wreck our rowboat. So I need to get to high ground stat and see if I can spot it. Okay, let's see. Chat, I do not like our chances. <laughs> Southeast. Go away. Get your compass. Why are these guys so tanky? Okay, southeast. It would be really bad if it wasn't this storm. <laughs> There's like actually no saving it if it's in the storm. Hmm. Look at the big rock on the water. That big rock? It's not where we came from though. Genuinely, I think it might be in the storm right now. Ah, oh, there it is! We found it, we found it, we found it! There it is. Okay. Ah! We're good. I'm fine. We need to save it quick before the storm gets it. I'm gonna be so upset if the storm sinks my robot. Quick, hurry up. Have a mango. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. That's like a bunch of ambulances. Ambulances outside. Something must have gone horrifically wrong. How much do you bench? Not a lot. My chest is pretty weak. <laughs> none of my uh, none of my resistance trainings PRs are very impressive. 
I think I do an average um, deadlift, but that's about it. For my size. Okay, this is gonna get really difficult right now. Oh boy, how do I find this? Now the waves are gonna get crazy and the robot is gonna take damage. I need to stop staring at chat because I need to actually focus on finding my robot. Oh, here it is! Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Let me save the loot. I'm begging. Come on. Come on. Finally found it. We have to get the heck out of the storm now. <laughs> We're not too far away from shore. Uh. Come on. At least don't have to worry about fire right now. Oh my god, this is taking damage rapidly. Do you see the damage marks on my rowboat? This is really bad. Down horrendous, actually. Ah, this stream is gonna be as long as I feel like doing it. I don't like, I don't put a time on it. It's just like, it's it's as long as, as, as it makes sense, you know? It could be four hours, could be six hours, could be eight hours, who knows? Chest you got? Actually, we're gonna we're gonna line them up on the island for screening. How long can a robot survive in a storm on average? I don't actually know that. I've never scienced that. Oh seven for Rowie number two. Yeah. Get get some O sevens for Rowie number two. Was a real one. Okay, what? Why, why am I being repelled? Thanks, chat. Paying respect to the robot. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to pick my stuff up. Is there anything funny we could do? with that many rage chests? They're not super useful, are they? Time to get your ship? Mm. Hmm. Getting my ship now feels like giving up, you know what I'm saying? Go home. Chat, be honest, did they just buff random spawns? They feel a lot more tanky than usual. Random treasure.
I think uh, they buffed it normally. It took three hits with a sword, now four, maybe five. It used to take uh, no more than two pistol shots. I don't know if I'm getting hit right or if it just actually takes three or four now. Look at these bad boys. Are you crewmates? Working the jobs. <laughs> They got work to do. Yeah, those of you uh, who have never been to my Twitch streams, which are very rare, by the way. Um, I like to do this where I, I take screenshots. Like, I set up screenshots for thumbnails in case something turns into a video. Did we only have one crying chest? Is that correct? I thought we had two crying chests. Guess I'm wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so much cursed treasure. Kind of in the way. Just grab my controller here. Welcome to behind the scenes of Cliff the Story Guy video production. This is what we call B roll. Oh my god, subscribe! What the hell? Yeah, six slashes is way more than it used to be. Before they explode. Yo, that was kind of a cool shot. Okay. <laughs> Chat, you have to admit, that was kind of a cool shot, right? Come on. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. A new separate one. With just the three different kinds. Um, for the intro. Actually, we'll need daytime for this. Chat, make yourselves comfortable. We're gonna be here for a few minutes. <laughs> Actually, I guess we can talk about some stuff, eh? So, chat. For those of you who have played the Monkey Island Tall Tale, the first part, um, if you enjoyed it, type 1, type 2, if uh, if you did not enjoy it. Let's get a bit of a read. Is that a big skeleton uh, ship? I had to run, so I... Damn, no, 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 I can't read this now. Wait, 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 wait. I had a big skeleton ship, and I had to run, so I poked near an island, shot a few times at someone, I still sink. That's happened to me before in an outpost, actually. <laughs> okay, so you guys enjoyed it almost unanimously. Big fans of the Monkey Island stuff. Three have not done it, that's fair. That is fair. Oh my god! Stop spawning AI on me, I'm trying to take freaking screenshots, man! Somebody asked me earlier uh, what I like the most and what I dislike the most about Sea of Thieves. This I genuinely dislike. is the frequency at which they spawn just random AI on you. 
Like, I don't even get five minutes to myself to take a screenshot before some stupid skelly spawn on me. That's so obnoxious. I wanted a little bit angry. I need subscribe to go away. Subscribe, please go away. Go. Oh my god, this dog is driving me nuts. Is there a reason this does not want to ignite? This dog. I s okay, fuck it. You wanna be in the shot, subscribe? I guess you'll be in the shot. Yeah, why is the chest not getting angry? Okay. I think we have enough shots for uh, a thumbnail if this does end up making a video. Again? I just killed two freaking spawns of you. Uh, no, that does not work like that. The crying chest does nothing to the, the chest of rage. People have science that. I'm gonna actually lose my mind. <laughs> With these stupid random spawns. And why are they so tanky? Who at Rare HQ made that decision? To buff their HP? <laughs> Will there be commentary about subscribe always being in the shot? Probably not. Probably not. You should sing some with a rage chest. Uh, I thought about that. But here's the thing about that idea. The only people that you can sync with a rage chest are people that you either spawn camp, so you gotta be really good at PvP, or people who are new at the game, and they don't know how to handle that chest. No experienced player will sink to a rage chest alone. And it just feels kind of mean uh, to target new oblivious new players to try and sink them with a rage, rage chest for a video. Because uh, I know right off the bat, only new players are going to fall for that. This feels kind of crappy. Okay, where to? I think we got two more digs. Really? Are you serious? Need to follow the storm? Okay, whatever. I clicked on expecting dangerous loop, but did not expect five chests of rage right off the bat. Yeah, I don't know if that's fortunate or unfortunate. <laughs> but our first voyage was literally five of them off the bat. Forgot some loot. Nothing important. That's fireworks. That's a random just captain's chest. That's ammo. Got all my curse treasures, so I care about. Yeah, if we find a new robot, we should definitely replace it. What's the best way to stand AFK for like 20 minutes so you can eat or make something to eat? Um, get a controller and do the legendary um, rubber strat where like, you know, you use a rubber band to uh, to lock your, your stick so your character keeps moving, so it keeps like circling. And uh, that's how Brandon avoided getting AFK kick.
No, I'm not using the storm map. I don't find it super useful. There's like, I either do or don't have to go somewhere. And the question is, you know, the storm is somewhere where I need to go. Do I go into the storm or do I wait for the storm? It does not actually matter to me where it goes next. Because it does not change my decision making. Are you my friend? No. I'm a content creator. I make videos on YouTube. I'm not your friend. We are complete strangers to each other. You like brownies? I'm not crazy about them. I don't hate them, but I'm I I rarely ever have a desire for brownies. Now you make him cry? Okay. I mean, better to make him cry than do uh, that shit that other people do with a parasocial relationship garbage. Do you find the sailing between voyages relaxing? I do. It's like Sea of Thieves has like a pretty decent mix of like very high intensity and just relaxation. Like if you guys go back into the VOD, how much I was freaking out when that, uh, when that skelly, uh, sorry, when the phantom fleet was laying into me versus how relaxed I am right now, you know what I'm saying? Now we don't have Taco Bell where I live, WR, so I've never had that. What's the thing that attached you to this game? Just like the general sandbox nature of it. The like, you know, the random encounters, the finding other people and just like making your own adventure. The chests are very annoying, yeah. Cliff, what do you think of the current socioeconomic state of the world? Let me explain, Rahul. <laughs> Let me explain. You play Terraria? Nope. I hope you guys enjoy the sound, by the way, because it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm doing the Cursed Treasure Voyage. It's a, uh, it's a captain voyage. So you need a captain ship to buy it? What's your favorite chest in the Sea of Thieves? I think appearance-wise, Chest of Legends probably takes the cake. Why aren't you playing Hourglass? Why would I be playing Hourglass? That shit's boring. Captain Rowboat, I see. Yes. We own a Captain Rowboat. Do you find it difficult to find a place with a microphone? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, Valley. With a 2 euro donation, why is crouching not a thing in this game? I don't know. But every time I play a game where you can crouch and I go back to see of these, I'm like, oh wait, I can't do that here. What do you think of Monkey Island? It's good, but it's not a lot. It's a very short show though. To be fair, Wolf, I've not lost a single rowboat. I've replaced rowboats. I've not lost any of them today. Uh, Max, I would recommend just doing uh, Lost Shipment Voyages. One single Lost Shipment Voyage, if you complete it, uh, with all the clues, uh, gets a rank 5 emissary. Are Captain Voyages more than the first few quests to get at the very beginning? I sometimes do Captain Voyage, but everyone has to log off before we do the small quests. Uh, Captain Voyages... I mean, some of them are just bundles of quests that you can get, like, separately. And it's just more convenient to have, like, a bunch of them. Oh, did I overshoot? I did overshoot. But there are also some unique Captain Void, just like the one I'm doing right now for Cursed Treasure. I 
I quit playing Sea of Thieves a long while ago. How you still enjoyed with new updates? Uh, I don't play it a lot. I just play it as much as I, I feel like playing it. You see, I have the luxury of not being a streamer. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. And uh, so my job is not to play this game every day for 8 hours a day. Uh, I can pick and choose when I want to play it, how much I want to play it for. So usually the boys and I, uh, we spend more time coming up with ideas for the videos than actually playing the game. And then we usually record it within a couple sessions. What's up, Blake? Hey, thank you, Simon. What are other games are you enjoying? Uh, I think I'm currently only playing Sea of Thieves and Raid. However, we will be playing Hardcore Classic WoW when that comes out. By we, I mean my friend Josh and I. This has to be it, right? It is southwest after this big rock. Because see these YouTube creators, I'm paranoid of truckers. Well, you can also be paranoid thanks to streamers. <laughs> it's usually the streamers that do it and then they put it on YouTube. <laughs> I think. Oh, what the hell? What made. Oh, oh. Okay, I mean, at least that's not players, I guess. I only made a single tucking video, and it was a really short video, because guess what? Tucking is really boring. <laughs> like, people on stream, they stick around because they want to see the resolution. But, uh, on YouTube... There we go, we're finally done! On YouTube, you can't really do that thing, where you just have... <clears throat> you have video footage of nothing happening, while you wait for for the tuck to come to fruition. Um, I guess this will be our final one. So yeah, tucking videos I find very boring, which is why uh, streamers do it more than YouTubers. Any new robots by any chance? Oh, that's another one. What's your favorite faction? Uh, has to be Reaper. I said it before. I'll say it again. The fact that you can sell anything to them and get a multiplier is just so good. Do you think double gunning is sweaty? Inherently, yes. Whether you are a sweaty player or not is, a, is like a different question. Um, but if you run two guns instead of having a sword, that just shows that you care more about a fast time to kill. And uh, that inherently makes him more sweaty than somebody who doesn't. Which is not a bad thing, right? You can play the game however you like. Because if you ask me, then yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. It's not that far away this time. I didn't forget. Thanks for the two bucks. You guys have been kind of going kind of ham today with the uh, like stickers and super chats. I appreciate that. How do you double gun? Does the animation slow you down? Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm not the right person to ask that. Oh no. Oh, the waves are not high enough. Oh no! Bro! Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh my god, my robot is so down bad right now. Uh, crap, 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 crap. We need to leave, like yesterday. Come on. Turn! Turn the damn rowboat, I'm begging! Oh my god, please, please, just move! Ugh. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Is that Reaper side over there? Uh, we're going to Reaper side up. Uh, I think we're done for now. I really want that gift. Bruh. Oh my god, Angie Wolf upgraded membership to tier 2, ayo? 
You just subscribed today and you're immediately upgrading. Thank you so much. Yo, can we get some sheesh in the chat before my robot sings? No, please, 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 please! Stop. 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 Okay. No. Go away. Brother. Poor rowboat. There we go. That's the sheeshes I was looking for. Even Jennifer joining in. Another fellow tier 2 subscriber. I see if he's better for the pirating experience or the open world experience. Why not both? I think like it's, it's coming together to create something very unique. I'd love to see other developers like try their, their hand at this formula, so to speak. Because there really is nothing like CODs out there. I'm a subscriber, I appreciate the flame. Flame, flame heart. Welcome in, Charlie. You <laughs> pirate duct tape badly, yeah, not wrong. Just enjoy the time you have right now, Vivo. Don't worry about getting that quickly, because the game is not that different when you're Pirate Legend. So, if you rush to it, you will only come to realize, oh, this game is actually not very different when I'm Pirate Legend. So just enjoy the time you have right now. Crap. Okay, this is getting really obnoxious. Uh, I have an, a better idea. Are you guys ready for this gaming prowess that's about to happen here? We'll pull up. I am Pendragon side or Flame Hearts? Uh, canonically, my character doesn't know much about Pendragon. Uh, but my character does actively dislike the Pirate Lord. And since Flameheart opposes the Pirate Lord, I guess he will be on Flameheart's side. Uh, where was Reapers again? Crap. Uh, is that Reaper's hideout in the storm? You've got to be kidding me. No, that's that over there is Reaper's hideout. I think. I think? Well, wherever it is, we just need to go in the open sea right now before these chests blow up my robot. I'm not actually trying to get to PL because I'm more interested in creating funny and great memories in the game. That's that's exactly how I play the game, Jennifer. <laughs> Hopefully I, could, uh, I can inspire you to get up to no good. Some shenanigans. Is there a video that details the character's background or a story or something? No, it's just the, basically the videos are the canon of my character. So canonically, uh, I, like I as a player, I had already done the um, the Ashen Curse, but until I made the video about the Ashen Curse, it was not canon to the story of my character. So if it has not happened or been mentioned in a video, basically it has not happened to my character. Which also means Pirate's Life is basically not canon to, uh, to my character. My first sea shanty is uh, some of the Megalodon. Big fan. Do you dislike the Pirate Lord because he said it's not about the gold, it's about the glory? Yes. My character also actively dislikes uh, Merrick for mildly inconveniencing him, so... So is this canon? If this ends up in a video... You know what? That's a good question, actually. Uh, Kelly? Is that how you say that? That's a good question, because it's a live stream, which is on YouTube. 
but is it canon only because it's on YouTube or is it only canon if it's a video as opposed to a live video? Hmm. Now, do you want badly in your face? Content. Updates. Have you played No Man's Sky? Yeah, I found it really boring. What did Merrick do? Uh, check out my video on the rarest Megalodon in Sea Old backstory there. The Cliff the Story Guy Cinematic Universe, exactly. The boys and I, we keep making fun of that. That idea. Oh god. Um. Uh. <laughs> Some would say the timing is really bad. <laughs> I guess we'll wait. Ahem. It would be very tempting to hide a, uh, a chest of sorrow on the ship. But I make so much noise, there's no way I can sneak on. Hey, you're very welcome, Misha. Glad you enjoy the videos. We have all the time in the world chat room. We can wait. Are you asking me why I'm not carrying kegs when I literally have chests that set me on fire? Ain't no way, right? <laughs> have you played Ark Survival? Yes, I have for about a thousand hours. <laughs> uh, I saw Sia earlier, Grey Fox. Also, what's up? What do you think about cake? I think it's hilarious that a lot of Twitch viewers were up in arms about the um, about the rise of gambling content on Twitch, and then they very readily follow their favorite streamer and their giant contract that paid them a lot of money uh, over to Cake, which is almost entirely funded on gambling and crypto scams. So it's like, uh. I mean, competition is good, don't get me wrong, right? Like, Twitch needs competition, because they've been stagnant for way too long. Uh, but I don't know that kick is really what I wanted out of that. I'm gonna play Ark Survival Ascended. Isn't that literally the same game? Pretty sure it's literally the same game. It is so funny to me that I have so many of these chests. <laughs> uh, I think I can just leave them here. Some of the words like harpoonable, basically. Or can see if these go hand in hand, really. The thing with Ark is that, like any survival game, you gotta play that like a full time job. And, um,. I want to make videos with my friends who have full-time jobs, so they can't really dedicate the time to survival content, which is why we do Sea of Thieves. Because we can just discuss ideas and then uh, record the videos in a lot less time than any survival game. Even though I do really enjoy survival games. If you could add or change something in the game, what would it be? Uh, I would change how little content there is. <laughs> I would... <laughs> if I was in charge of Sea of Thieves, I would make it so they stop investing all these resources into glorified... Um, 
like UI updates. Stuff like captaincy and guilds, in my opinion, does not add enough to the game to warrant them delaying the seasons time and time again. I'd rather have actual, like, proper gameplay content than here's another menu where you can see your progress on this new thing. Like, that's just so boring. That is probably my biggest gripe, to be honest. Okay, now we wait. Now we wait. If your friends have full-time jobs, uh, do you? In case don't make enough revenue from YouTube? No, I actually make a very comfortable living <laughs> off of YouTube. I'm the only one in our squad who's full-time YouTube right now. I'm currently doing very well for myself, despite there not being a lot of uh, content to make videos about. Because I have a strong backlog and a strong community that keeps re-watching my old videos. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Shout out to that. Was the short content going? I got kind of bored of shorts content, to be honest. Like, I'm not super passionate about it. And if I'm not passionate about it, it's really hard for me to motivate myself to actually do it. Uh, even though I did see the benefit of doing shorts. So I should do it. And I still have some stuff on my hard drive that I could turn into shorts. It's just a matter of getting myself to do it. I just wish, like, this is like a, like a nerdy analytics complaint, but I really wish in the YouTube studio that they would separate short-form views from long-form views. Because it's really annoying when you look at, like, oh, I got 2 million, like, 800,000 views, but my revenue is really low. Why is my revenue really low? Because you got a lot of short views as opposed to long-form views, and they don't pay as well. It's like, I'd rather have that to be two separate statistics, just so I can see at a glance how well my long-form is doing, which is a lot more important to me. What content would you wish for? Just anything that enhances the sandbox. I don't want menu updates. I don't want, like, adventures. Like, adventures are just... F spoon force-feeding you story that I do not care about. Like, add stuff to the game that allows me to have my own adventures rather than shoving some NPC down my throat that tells me how awesome they are. I hate that. It's like, it's the antithesis of everything COTs used to stand for. Like, the whole design principle behind COTs was, hey, we will keep the UI out of your face so you can be fully immersed in the game and you make your own adventure. And I was like, hey, we're making all these UI updates. Like, hey, do you want to see your pirate log? You got to find your reputation over here. Okay, uh, takes a while to load and you can uh, click in here to, uh, f to find out what commendations you need to get that one specific cosmetic you want. Also, here's your ship's log, which again, takes a while to load for some reason. And you can find out all these things so you can find out stuff that actually doesn't matter and some of the things that do matter so that you can get some little cosmetics to put in your like, what are all these menus? I don't care for more menus. I don't want like a guild menu. Keep me in the game. Don't put me into the menus. It's so frustrating. And then them being like, hey, we're, we're delaying the next season by now three months because of this menu update is so frustrating. Sorry about the rant, but just it is so genuinely frustrating. The Captain Cell Point at the Outpost is one of the better updates because you don't need to run a marathon if you're solo selling things. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of convenience stuff they did, which is pretty neat. Um, because they, they realize they can reach more people if the game isn't as tedious. So they made strides to make the game less tedious so you can spend more time having adventures, which is great. I think it's cool. I'm just not crazy about, like, adventures and stuff. Like, adventures are so boring to me, which is why I almost never make videos about them. The Megalodon one, the, the Shot of Ghost one, was really good. Because there was a lot of gameplay to it. But a lot of the, the new adventures have just been like, go from A to B and then listen to NPCs monologuing. Favorite outpost? Uh, Sanctuary. Actually, one thing that would be cool, I don't think we need more ship sizes, but I think different versions of, of a ship size would be cool. Like, let's say we have the sloop, and then we have another two-player ship. You know what I'm saying? Just like, even if it was just aesthetic, it would be really cool to have different, like, shaped ship types. It's like different two, three, and four-player ships, as opposed to 
we have two, three, and four. Now let's add a uh, five, six, seven. You know, I feel like we don't really need that. But having more choice for your crew size would be cool. Are we in with someone right now? Or why are you running around doorpost? Oh, uh, we want to sell at Reapers. And there's currently a Brigantine. A one-man ship would be nice. Yeah, I can see that being a thing. I guess a rowboat is the one-man ship. <laughs> no, it would be, in my opinion, it would be really cool to have ships that have, like, significant differences. That one has more firepower. That one is a lot faster. That one cannot take a lot of damage, you know? But I feel like that goes kind of against the design ethos that Rare has. And they want the ships to be as close to even as possible. Which you know, is a little boring, but I get why they would want that. Thank you, Rahul. Appreciate that. I feel like it would be nice as we always have to leave someone. Oh, look at you having a lot of friends. With the rest of us not being able to uh, relate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The most expensive sea of these? I don't actually know what the most expensive cosmetic is now. I think they added new ones. I want a new fish. We talked about this earlier. A Hunter's Call update will be tight. Emissary flag, Megalodon and Kraken hunting missions, sea monster event. Oh, that'd be sick. I'll be all over that. If you had the chance, would you get rid of fog? I would keep the fog in like one specific area of the map. Probably like the Ancient Isles. I would keep the fog in the Ancient Isles and have it be like a, a slim chance of it spawning. But keep it the heck out of the rest of the map. The whole menu could be a, a damn book on your ship or something, and I hate that the adventures are only time limited. I'm working. Yeah, Bomber, that's the thing, right? The whole the whole strategy behind adventures is is FOMO, is fear of missing out. They try to push you to do them. And the thing is, too, is like, you know, you can have time limited, limited content, but at least make the content worthwhile. But it's like, it's really boring content that they push people to do because A, it's time limited, and B, they lock cosmetics behind them. So it's like, <laughs> I know so many, chat, you have no idea. I know so many people who are like, yeah, I really don't care about the adventures, but I still do every single one of them to get the cosmetics. So it's like, they probably have some inflated statistic of how many people do adventures, just based on people wanting the cosmetics, but not actually enjoying the adventures. And it seems to be such a big undertaking from a development perspective that you could use that those dev resources to create something more interesting instead, something that lasts. Something that isn't gone after two weeks, you know? I think you guys know what I'm saying. Can we collect signatures to make the Hunter's Call update a reality? I don't think Rare really cares about that. Which, like, in a way is a good thing, because, like, you know, you want your dev team to have a direction. You want them to know where they're going and not just change on a whim. But I just don't like the direction they're going right now with all the menu and story stuff. The tall tales need to be uh, given more coins for completing it the first time, like 50k or something, after that 10k or so. I mean, you get 10k off the, off the skull for the, uh, for the shows of gold. But, I said that in a, in a Twitch stream before. In my opinion, chat, your first completion of the, of the shows of gold, only the first one, should net you 250,000 gold. Screw the whole cursed gold thing, that's boring. Give people 250,000 gold so that they can buy their own own ship. If you, like, you would have such a good reason. Like, for one, the Shores of Gold series is so good. And also, if you complete nine Tall Tales, which takes a while, uh, giving you enough money to be able to purchase your own Captain Sloop is a really good reward, in my opinion. What's up, Heather? Heather, sorry, my bad. Uh, are there any out of bounds or map breaking spots in the game? Uh, there's there's something called the the Red Sea, which basically sinks your ship. Uh, so if you try to go out of bounds, your ship sinks, and there's eventually an invisible wall that teleports you back. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> Appreciate that. 
If you choose to add a new monster to the sea, uh, what would you add? Like Cthulhu or others. Uh, I would like just general sea monsters, like, like a sea serpent or something along those lines. Um, not so much as a random event, more than as a triggered event. I would like a Hunter's Call Voyage, make it really expensive or really hard to get, um, that allows you to summon like a Maelstrom at the edge of the map, where you fight like a Sea Serpent or some other kind of sea monster. It could even be the Kraken, I don't care, it could be the Kraken, and we actually killed the Kraken for good that, that time. Um, but I feel like adding a Maelstrom could be interesting, as, an, as a triggered event, as opposed to a random event, it just inconveniences people. Like the storm! <laughs> you know? Do you think this game is better than when you start playing? Oh yeah, absolutely. When I played the game for the first time, there was not a lot of content. And now there's a lot more content. So chat, if you're new to the game, you have a lot to explore. A lot of cool stuff to do. These guys are still there. I'm starting to get impatient and just like want to go there. Yeah, the game was very barren when, when it originally came out. I've been doing the Ashen Curse for eight days straight to know I've been doing it wrong. Yeah, it takes like an afternoon, <laughs> not eight days. <laughs> Taking their time, aren't they? They must have a lot of... I mean, they can't have that much loot considering they're rank four. It's always what is Cliff, but not how is Cliff. Exactly, Nomo. What are you doing today? Uh, we are doing Cursed Treasure Voyage. We sunk and we're on a rowboat now and we're waiting for these fellas to leave so I can sell my loot. Where's the next outpost from here? Chat, if I go south from here, is that an outpost or nah? Could be waiting for the storm to pass? I guess you're not wrong. My favorite island is is Sea Dog's Rest, and my favorite uh, outpost is Sanctuary. Hey, congrats, Zia! Good job. Should get some stormfish. I guess I could have. Ah, uh, that would not work, Rahul. You could you could not organize that many people to work, like to know what they're doing <laughs> in an online matchmate scenario. East by northeast is Daggertooth. Uh, that looks like this could be where the storm is going. <laughs> Your rowie will sink. Uh, it should not sink when I'm close to an island. Emphasis on should. Why is there no whale in the game yet? True! There's no whales in the game! You can do the parkour. I could do the parkour. I'm not very good at parkour though. And I might get black screened, so I don't really want to do it. Hey, what's up, Jared? Welcome to Insanity as well. Do you plan on getting the PvP curses? Nah, I got bored of Hourglass. It's just the same stuff over and over again. There'll be a Hydra that will attack you. I welcome it. <laughs> Come and get me, Hydra. Dogs or cats? Dogs, 100%. 100% doggos. have a favorite weapon combo, I just kind of use what, what makes sense at the time. Like, if I have to kill a lot, a lot of people very quickly, I'll usually double gun. If I fight other double gunners, I'll usually double gun. Um, if I fight very inexperienced players, I will usually do a sword pistol, just because it gives me a lot of flexibility. Um, but then there's other situations where I'd rather do Sword Eye of Reach, where I don't want to get close, but I still want to have a means to defend myself if I have to get close. Do you have a lantern on this? Yes. Hopefully 
hopefully I don't sing. What other mythological ocean things should they add? Like Poseidon or Moby Dick? I don't think these are mythological. Like, I don't think Moby Dick is like mythological, right? It's just, isn't that just from a story? Like from a book? Leviathan, Sea Serpent, Hydra type stuff would all be very interesting, yeah. Storm is normally for side out? Well, screw me, I guess. Will you sink a ship? I mean, if they don't leave me a choice, I can try. No promises. But we do have a crying chest. Do you like One Piece? Let me give you one piece of advice. <laughs> Gotta get some maidens, bro. Yeah, I know I know of that wolf. I know of that. Wolf. When do you think Sea of Thieves 2 will release? Good one. We need to separate this bad boy. For easy access. A new region would be cool, but I don't think the game can really handle more landmass. New is supposed to be Daggertooth. Okay. So it is the North by Northeast, whatever somebody said. We are full sending it right now. We are full sending it. I don't see a universe in which they don't hear or see me approach on a super glowy, shiny rowboat in the dark with the constant noise of, like, splashing water. But we can try. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We die and we lose, like, what, two and a half hours of work? It's whatever, right? We play this game for the experience, not for the gold. Unless we do need gold, in which case we really play it for the gold. <laughs> Briefly turning into submarine as I get close, don't worry about it. Hello? Hey, what's up? I bring presents. Oh, thank you. You guys just chilling, fishing? They will never know what hit them. A lot of cool stuff here that I found. He's probably very confused. <laughs> This is about to be really funny, Chad. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's dropping them overboard. No, come on, man. That's no fun.
can I kill three people before they end me? Um... It has begun. It has begun! Hands up. Ow! Rude? All I said was hands up. Ow! That's mean. <laughs> Nothing personal. they're gonna find the, uh, the crying chest. Blurbs is disappointed? Well, Blurbs is disappointed he still has to play this game. <laughs> I don't know if that's anything to do with me. Uh, how far am I away? Oh, come on, really? We can do that. <laughs> that was a great two hours, not wrong. I heard you say you play Ark, will you try Ark 2? I prefer not to speak. If I speak, big trouble. I do not want to encourage anyone to play Ark 2, because the developer of, of Ark, uh, I think they're called Wildcard, they're just really scummy. Incredibly scummy. So I don't want to be like, oh, of course I'm going to play the game. Cliff Reed is the best creator I've watched in a while. How long has it been, Jonathan? <laughs> what do you mean by scummy? Uh, like, for example, when they announced um, Ark Survival Ascended, which is basically Ark Survival Evolved with mods, uh, they were like, hey, you guys can buy the same game again with mods. Uh, by the way, we are stopping support for Ark Survival Evolved, so you better buy it. Uh, however, you also get Ark 2, smiley face, and it's just like... They do incre a lot of incredibly scummy stuff like that. Are you gonna play Starfield? Absolutely not. 100% <laughs> not. Words cannot describe how little I care about Starfield specifically. What was the plan? Ah, just a little bit of a good old fashioned squabble. We've been just PvEing the whole day, so, you know, getting to a little bit of a fight, just for the heck of it. Basic supplies, by the way. I tried Deep Rock Galactic before, and I was not the biggest fan. The colors just kind of give me a headache, I don't know. I don't worry about that marker, like, I have a thousand hours in that game. It's just that I do not want to use my platform to promote people to spend more money on their, their stuff, considering how scummy they are. Don't even play Sea of Thieves anymore, I still find myself watching your videos just because of how good your storytelling is. Hey, thank you, Duff Duff. That is more common than you would think. Oh, now they're sailing? No, they're not. Okay. Uh, I would estimate at least half the people that watch my videos, like half of my audience, has not played, actually played the game. Or has never played the game. <laughs> Doing right now? Are we going for this Reaper? Going for the Reaper. You like Subnautica? I've never played it, but I watch playthroughs of it. Looks like a cool game. Oh, what's up, late?
can play Minecraft right now. Yeah. What made you start YouTube? Oh, that's a long story. Uh, ask me that next time I live stream. <laughs> I don't think I want to get into that whole can of worms right now. Should I buy Sea of Thieves? I don't know, you tell me. Does this gameplay look interesting to you? You know the answer to that question then. Do you play any other games? Yes, I also play Raid. And I am going to play a hardcore classic WoW when that comes out. Sometimes I play Fortnite, but only... Only with a friend. I never play Fortnite solo because that's boring. Yes, Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, Raid can. Uh, so, uh, Sea of Thieves can be very frustrating. Uh, especially when it comes to bugs. Like, losing all of your progress to a bug is really frustrating. As the Merchant Ambassador said. No, I have zero interest in Skull and Bones. I also refuse to believe that game will ever actually come out. <laughs> I do not see that happen. Are you gonna get Baldur's Gate 3? Maybe eventually, but right now, not very interested. I get the banner so small? It's somewhere in the settings. I'm wondering why they're just like chilling there. What is the end game? I'm doing great, thank you, Shadow Gamer. I'll be doing fine as well. Ramming them would require me to run straight into the broadside. I don't think that's a play here, chat. Is that the fog coming? Oh, don't do this to me right now. That will be incredibly frustrating. Hmm. You know, I was, I was thinking that was a weird parking job, but it's actually very difficult to approach them with a good broadside without being in that broadside. So kudos, I guess. Hmm, these shots are not great. I hit the dock. Hey, subscribers back.
Where did I just get shot from? Gaha? Uh -huh. Got my Rowie back. Oh, Jesus! What's going? Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> oh, I destroyed the robot in the process, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. I really just wonder if they still had the chest of sorrow. I love how I just got to park my ship. <laughs> I was like, where's my ship circling? No, but it's actually literally just parked. Uh, they did not have the chest of sorrow anymore. All I get is a rank 5 Reaper Emissary flag. Wah wah. Oh well. Hey, jo Jumbo Waffle Gaming with a 1999 sticker? Thank you. P Black with the. I don't know what currency this is, but thank you very much, little support. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Both of you. All of you, in fact. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. You guys are too nice to me. <laughs> Vietnam Dong. Ah, okay, I've never seen that before. But well, thank you so much. <laughs> that flag was worth it, yes. <laughs> Jumbo Waffle Gaming is a based name? Real. What's the next story? Whenever it's done. Quickest PvP encounter? Yeah. What are your favorite games, and what games do you have the most amount of time in? Uh, I don't know the exact number, but it's in the thousands. Uh, I have thousands of hours in World of Warcraft. I think that is by far my most played game. Um, Seal Thieves is actually not that high up with about 600. I got Ark with over thousands. I think Conan Exiles have a few hundred. Uh, there's also games I used to play a lot that aren't around anymore, that did not do um, tracking. They didn't do time tracking of playtime. So I do not actually know how long I played them for. Hey, thank you, Jared. Appreciate that. I thought of playing Skull and Bones when it eventually comes out. Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> The amount of people that actually think that game comes out is concerning. <laughs> but no, I have no interest in Skull and Bones. That game does not look like it's interesting to me. Um, I guess... I guess that is all she wrote. Nothing else happening in this server. Uh, we got five more left, so we can try this again. We've only done two of them, and this was a very eventful stream. <laughs> and regards to the amount of tomfoolery that happened. Uh, so I'm going to be calling it here, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out in the stream. Uh, make sure that if you got this far into either the stream or the VOD to hit that like button. Uh, presumably that helps me out. I don't actually know the impact of likes on live stream VODs. But hey, if you enjoyed yourself, hit that like button. Big shout out. Massive thank you to everybody hanging out, keeping me company. As well as all the legends that have joined the channel via paid membership. That always helps me out greatly. As well as all the uh, super chats and stickers. It's very much appreciated. The next video is going to be done whenever it is done. I don't have a time frame. Follow me on Twitter for more updates. <laughs> or Discord, I guess. I always post them on YouTube, uh, on Twitter and Discord. So yeah, this is it for me here today. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Friday and upcoming weekend. And I'll see you guys next time.